वेलकम बैक टू मार्केट का ज्ञान आई एम नरेंद्र सोलंकी एंड लेट एस स्टार्ट पार्ट टू ऑफ आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑन फार्मास्यूटिकल सेक्टर बट बिफोर दैट प्लीज रिमेंबर टू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन इन ऑर्डर टू गेट टाइमली अपडेट्स ऑन आवर वीडियोज एंड टॉपिक्स सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बर्ड साइ व्यू ऑफ pharmaceutical sector from product point of view in this video we will discuss from business point of view of the companies so the companies in pharma sector in india predominantly operates in one of these three verticals one vertical is cdmo crm which is contract research manufacturing second vertical is branded generics third vertical is generics api and generics which is further segregated into apis and bulk drugs so most of the companies have either one of these or a combination of these verticals fourth is biologics and biosimilars which we would talk as a separate topic now coming to the branded generics and generics business branded generics is nothing but a generic drug which is sold under a brand name it is fairly a emerging market phenomena wherein a lot of generic drugs are branded and are sold as a branded formulations so for example if we talk about a famous pharmaceutical drug which is paracetamol so paracetamol is a generic name while calpol which everybody or you might be knowing is or dolo which you might knowing is a branded name so it's it's falling into branded generic segment now api and bulk drugs so api is nothing but a key ingredient in a drug which acts which actually helps in relieving the symptoms while api is not only sufficient it needs to be delivered into the body so here comes the role of intermediates so there are many companies who are manufacturing intermediates as well and supplier to the companies which are making finished doses doses formulations so the api is integrated with intermediates or excipients uh, which we call it and their whole lot of depth and research which we will again discuss in a separate topic what the excipients and intermediates are the api is the active pharmaceutical ingredient which actually acts as a medicine now the third category uh, which we discussed was bulk drugs bulk drugs is a company who is manufacturing apis in bulk and is supplying to the companies who is manufacturing the final product which is finished dosage formulations this we are talking in terms of india and uh, we are not talking in terms of exports to developed market so the whole process for the companies who are into export business is completely different there are various different filings approvals and there are timelines of approvals so we will also discuss that in next part so these are the verticals from indian point of view the pharma business is spread in these three or four verticals and most of the companies fall into these broad verticals so that's it for this part we will continue discussion on pharma industry and pharma sector on our next part stay tuned investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing